Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using a hostess stamp, which you will get free if you place a qualifying order with um, Stamping Up. This is a hostess stamp out of the celebration. Oh, no, I think it is dead cute, all the little ladybugs. Four of them, a flower and the sentiments and I also use the background stamp birch to make this card I've got a card base white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth I fold it in half and I've also got three pieces of white cardstock one for the middle one for the front I want to stamp out the ladybugs which we'll have to fussy cut out so to get started I am going to do the ladybugs first so that they'll dry to colour them in so there is the one with the open wings This one is walking along the ground. And this one is just standing looking pretty. one side to dry and I'll bring in this bit you also need a mask for this next bit which I have got here so we're going to bring in the flower and um, we're going to stamp the flower Stamp it about there. Nice. stamp and that's what we need this for for now all right now we're going to use our birch background stamp but before we do that we need to cover the petals of the flower not worried about color getting on the leaves because <coughs> we're going to color them in now I never brought the ink over. Let me just get the ink for this. Right. Um, and I need a piece of paper. I'm using seaside spray for the background. quickly stamp off and then I'm going to pop that down and rub over it and those have got a nice background close this now because we don't need it
clean the stamp off. And because it's so big, I can just pop it back in its box and pop that away. Right, I'll take this off. And I'm also going to pop that back in on the lid in case I need it another time. Right, I'm going to stamp our sentiment and we're just going to stamp this right on and we're going to put it up there and it is happy birthday and I'm going to stamp this upside down. I'm going to place it right there and play it straight. Not too bad. Right, that is our stamping done. Now, what we've got to do is colour in. So, with dark old olive, we just colour in the leaves and the stem. If you do do this and use a quite dark background, you won't be able to use old olive light on this bit because it will show through. Right, now then, with Daffodil Delight Dark. Yep, I just drew out some yellow from the middle. And then coloured in the middle. Yellow. That was all I did on the yellow bits for the ladybugs I use real red dark <coughs> couldn't get a little of them and I just covered in covered in coloured in the I'm going to call them shells, I don't know what they're called, apart from body. One done, two to go.
That's me saying about their body. Or I didn't know what they were called. Well, they're actually the wings that cover their bodies. How stupid am I? And this one's not got much wings out. got our black and I actually coloured in the whole of the black dots I hope you all had a nice Christmas, by the way. We spent Christmas with our youngest daughter. Oh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. Middle daughter come round Boxing Day to my youngest daughters. Right, that's then coloured in. So all I'm going to do now is cut these Oh no, bodies. Who does anybody know what colour the bodies are on a um uh ladybird? Because I don't. Right, I coloured them in light grey and I'm gonna use granite grey on these ones. This yeah. I don't know what colour ladybirds' bodies look like. I don't tend to lift them up to find out. Well, mine are granite grey today. I sent my um, eldest daughter a parcel for Christmas, the Christmas presents, and Hermes lost it. I got a text saying that it had been delivered on uh, December the 13th, when in fact it hadn't. And they didn't know where it was, and didn't start investigating until after about the fifth phone call. Uh, well, my daughter actually knew of its whereabouts before they did. Um, seemingly an agency guy who delivers for another company, but Hermes um, hired or 
contractor to help them out with their Christmas deliveries had a truck full of parcels which he said he delivered and didn't and they found them in his truck my daughter's parcel was damaged not bad, not inside, the outside was damaged but she got it um, when did she get it? the Monday before Christmas so she got that, you know, in time for Christmas. Thank God. I had my grandson's birthday present in it as well. So I won't be using them again. That's for sure. Right. Now, there's no dies for these. I have to cut them out by hand. They're quite an easy shape to cut out. Try and stay on camera. First one done. Straighten up some of these. said this a few times but if you're fussy cutting remember don't move the scissors move your picture it's a lot easier if you do that Especially when you're going around um, corners, it's easier to uh, cut them out. day I did a, quite a bit of fussy cutting on the cards I'm doing for the next month As you will see, 
if you watch the videos. I bet you're going, oh no. The amount of people who hate fussy cutting. Sometimes it's just quicker than actually die cutting. By the time you've got your big shot out, and well, for those who haven't got it right by the side of them, like me. And then line the dye up and right. That's that. And then we'll go on there like that. On top of dimensionals. So let's get some out. Come on. Right, what are they? They're the small ones. They're the big ones. Big one there. Big one there. And a big one there. It's fine. Big one. little ones on them in the middle and then this one and a couple of little ones Put a small one there Let's get sticking this down. I really should use another bottle. So I did do some inside. You're cute as a bug. Let's do that. You're cute as a bug. again because that weren't very good. That's better. Right. Now I'll we'll put this in the um inside. I forgot where I was going to put it. That's better. Right, let's start getting these backings off. This one's easy, it's only got three on it. And this one stands on the leaf, on the flower.
This one is flying above. And this one is thinking about going up there. And there you have it. I don't think gems are required on this one today. There's the first one. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cars, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.